Well, uh, that cough in my sleeve uh, was staged uh, because our uh, speaker uh, has taught us how to cough in our sleeve. At least he uh, has produced uh, a film that, uh, that uh, taught us that, as well as uh, a couple of other uh, important things such as uh, hand washing and dental hygiene. Uh, and that is uh, appropriate to his profession. He is uh, Dr. Uh, ben Lounsbury. Uh, he, uh, uh, his practice is with the Central Maine Ear, Nose and Throat uh, in Lewiston. Uh, but uh, he, uh, and along with his wife, has been very much interested in local history. Uh, and uh, last summer, this past summer, he uh, produced uh, a film for a program for another uh, group. Uh, and in the course of that, he uh, consulted me with regard to historic places around Lewis and Auburn. And so, uh, when our program committee met, I said, well, I know of this uh, uh, film uh, that Dr. Uh, Lounsbury has uh, uh, produced, and maybe we would have it for one of our programs. And they agreed, and uh, so we have uh, this exercise uh, of uh, identifying uh, landmarks in uh, Lewiston and Auburn. Uh, so I'll simply let him explain uh, what this is and, and the rules of the game, and uh, I, I give you uh, Dr. Stenlund. Okay, thank you. Um, I won't hide it. I produced this for the Taylor Pond Yacht Club for a Saturday night party that we had. Um, yeah, I call it, name that place, um, and I wanted to, I, the party was over the 4th of July. I wanted to do it in honor of immigration. So I wanted to find places in Lewiston, Auburn that had been involved in immigration, and I asked Doug to tell me some places. He gave me a long list, more than I needed. Um, and I went out and filmed them in a way uh, specifically designed for this game. Um, I have a great little camera that can focus at one inch. So I get up very close to something, or I zoom in on it really close, so you can't identify what it is when, the, when it first comes on. And then I either pull away or I zoom away so that more and more detail comes into view. And eventually, I think you'll all recognize all of these places, but there will be different moments when each of you gets a light on. Boing! I know what that is! Um, so I hope you're in a competitive mood, a game-playing mood, uh, and that you will guess uh, what these various locations are. Um, all of them have something to do with immigration. So I sort of made up special rules for this group of people. Um, the first is, don't shout out the name of the place. <coughs> Say, stop, because I need to stop the camera so that more details don't come into view. And whoever said stop gets to guess at what the place was. Mm -hmm. If you get it right, you get a bead. So you'll be passing this bag of beads around. Um, if you get it wrong, you don't get a bead. If you, if you get it wrong and you already have a bead, you've got to give one back. It's really competitive. Uh, if you get it right, then you get the opportunity to tell what immigration or historical significance the place has. And the committee of the whole will decide whether the answer is good enough to get another bead. Okay? Okay. So, let me make sure everything is working here. Somebody in the center should be holding the bag of beads. You can pop them together. They're all pop of beads. I don't know how old those are, 30, 40 years. Uh, and so when it's over, we can all just hold up, you can all hold up your strings of beads and see whose is the longest. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Is that Simone's hot dogs? You're right. <coughs> what is it? Simone's hot dogs. There you go. Say. We'll let the others see the rest of it. You can tell us what historical 
How about the immigration thing? That's right. He's, he's going to tell us after everybody gets a chance to realize this really is Somali top dogs. Okay, what is the immigration uh -oh. or historical significance of it? Uh, well, it's been there about a little over a century, I think, and uh, lots of politicians struck by them when they're running for off public office. Uh, so I think it's, uh, was it founded by an Italian, was it? Or, or the Greek. 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 All right, well, like, the Committee of the Whole, do we give him another uh, chip for, okay. Um, All right. Apple one. All right. Apple one. <laughs> Apple one, okay. Here we go, number two. Stop. Yep. I don't, you, the one that, well, tell me more about it. I don't think it's named Lincoln. Well, it was at one time. Yes. Okay. okay. Before it was. What was the name of it before it got destroyed? Oh, that was, it was the, what was it? I'm, not my period. I'm, I just know it from uh, the previous period. Um, W.S. Levy Company. Yes. What? W.S. Levy Company. Levy. Cohen Mill. Cohen. Yeah. All right. The waterfront. Oh, no. Okay. <coughs> well, the committee of the whole, do we give that gentleman a B? Yeah, we got one. Right. You, you knew the old name. Okay, you knew the old name. That's very good. Most people know that. Does that give him two beats for having known the uh, uh, that name? Story. <laughs> huh? That's a little story. Built in 1940. All right. So you've got one beat. Should we give him two? No. How many say we give him two? What's, what's the immigration? I, I, I Well, it doesn't have to be immigration, it just has to be history. What's the history? Uh, many, many Canadian immigrants and Scots and Irish immigrants work there. Right, right. Okay, we'll move on. But he got it first. Uh, Lincoln Mill. Lincoln Mill. Libby Mill. That's how most of us do it. Libby Mill was further inland. The one on the water. Okay, so this is the waterfront. The waterfront one that burns. This is Cohen Mill. Cohen. Well, they both burn. Okay, here we go. Oh, City Hall. Uh, well, it didn't say stop. Didn't say stop. Now, somebody else saying stop? I'll say it again, stop. Oh, we're going to let him have it. Okay. And what is it? That's uh, Lewiston City Hall. Let's see. I don't think so. Oh, stop. St. Mary's? Uh, I think he's got it. I think it is City Hall. I'm sorry, I didn't review the, uh, the answers myself. That's City Hall. Yeah. That's not City Hall. He works for City Hall. He knows where he's bread and butter. Oh, it's a really beautiful building. It's not City Hall, it's Church. Yes, it is. It's a close to City Hall. There's a lot of bridges to the right. That's on your side of the left. Okay. Historical significance? Yeah, uh, there's all kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us one thing. First one. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I can't remember the date on the clock. Something significant about it. I can tell you one thing. Okay. The little horse drawn sleigh going up to the second floor was rebuilt and the front end of it's backwards. <laughs> so it uh, Huh. <laughs> Should we give him a B? Yeah. yeah. All right. He's then, running away with it. Wait. Yeah. When this, I don't want to be, but the um, the first shot that you did of that little fire thing. Yeah. A year ago, one of those copper top toppers was laying in the street when I left the library, and the cars were whizzing by like they do on Pine Street. And I ran out and I rescued it. Wow. And I looked up and I saw the other one, because uh -huh. it was one of the two on the front. And I took it into City Hall and they were really the person I went to first was mystified and wasn't really interested. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found a person who understood that it was that it had fallen off of one of those fires and wow. that they were going to get it to the right person and somehow get it back up there. Wow. So I recognized it the second you did, Mark. Wow. I had my oh. hands on that. Did it back up there? <laughs> yeah. They put it back. Okay, here we go. Listen. 